friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about trends in 2024, specifically early 2024. So I compiled all the data, I did a ton of research, and I figured out some top trends that can guarantee that if you start selling something within these categories, that you'll probably get some really good sales on Etsy. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So if you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Sally, and I've been selling on Etsy since 2016. So I've learned a lot of things throughout the years. I've learned what works, what doesn't work, and one of the most important things that I think that you can do for your shop is to do your market research. And if you're unsure of what market research is, it's basically in short, just doing some research to figure out what's trending, what's not, what's popular, what's not, and being able to kind of integrate these trends into your products so that you're selling things that people are actively searching for. So not only things that you like to sell, but things that people are looking for and putting your own spin on it. So that's kind of what I did in this video. I went and did a bunch of research and figured out what's trendy and these are products and things that you can integrate within your shop no matter what you sell so maybe you do vinyl sublimation t-shirts wood signs you can kind of integrate trends within your products so let's go ahead and hop on in and talk about these trends so let's really quickly go over some colors and patterns and styles that are trending for 2024 so I don't know if you guys have already looked at it but Etsy has a trend report that they come out with every single year and basically in short they go over some colors and patterns and styles as well as some keywords and search terms that are on the uprise so it's something good to look at if you're a seller because you can kind of integrate some of that stuff within your products and believe me when I say that Etsy wants to make money so they know that if they provide their sellers with that information that their sell sellers in turn can make them money so that's something that you can look at um, so colors there are two main colors that you want to kind of pay attention to and one is Pantone's color of the year which is kind of I think it's a worldwide color of the year that a lot of fashion designers and retailers and stores and small business owners will kind of follow that color within their products and then there is Etsy's color of the year so Pantone's color of the year this year is peach fuzz so it's very peachy and I've already seen it in a lot of things I've seen it in marketing I've seen it on clothes makeups even go in more of the peachy colors so pay attention to that color and maybe utilize that within your products and Etsy's color of the year is called a berry which is a purpley color so that is Etsy's color of the year and they kind of do their own thing with that and they're you're gonna start seeing a lot of Etsy sellers and things on Etsy with the color berry so that might be a good idea Idea to pay attention to that and maybe integrate that color in your products as well so along with those two colors some colors that are going to be trendy this year are bright pops of colors so the evergreens the bright blues and yellows and reds and oranges it's almost like a retro feel I feel like with the colors but you're gonna see a lot of the like boring gray and beige going out a little bit and you're gonna start seeing pops of color and that's not to say that that's everyone's taste that's just what's trendy right now so definitely bright colors and um, greens and things like that are going to be some colors that you're going to want to pay attention to this year okay let's talk patterns now so some patterns that you're going to be seeing this year is a lot of floral now floral has been kind of getting big for a while but it's getting really big this year you guys you're going to see a lot of floral and birth flower and retro flower type things coming back this year and I think it's going to be pretty huge so pay attention to that you're going to start seeing a lot of geometric and old school patterns coming back in style too I don't know if you guys remember when Chevron was absolutely huge. That is also coming back this year slowly but surely. I've been noticing a lot of that. And the checkered look. I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of that, but I've been seeing a lot of that coming back in style. It's kind of the ones that you would see on Vans, you know, like the Vans shoes. You'll see a lot of the checkered style coming back in. So those are some patterns that you want to pay attention to this year. So now that we've covered color and pattern, we're going to talk quickly about evergreen products. So if you guys don't know what evergreen products are, it's basically products that you can continually sell year after year after year that will always do well. And the reason that they do well is because it's something usually that people are passionate about or that they want to show off. So for example, maybe it's their career. So like teacher or nurse, paramedic, 
firefighter, things like that, or hobbies, or you could do pet items or baby or wedding. It's just kind of relating to things that people like to show off and they're gonna constantly be searching for online. So before we get started on trends that are popular currently, you can always or never go wrong with those products, but what can make it even better is staying within those popular evergreen products. You can find trends that you can incorporate within those popular products. So while we're talking about that, be thinking about how you can kind of intertwine the two. So evergreen products do well, but now let's talk about trends right now. Trend number one, I think that this is the season for book lovers, bookworms, people that love to read. You guys, I was mind blown at some of the research I was doing and seeing how much of an uproar it is right now for people that love to read. And I think it's awesome. I think it's an amazing hobby to get into. It's real good for your brain, but so many people are just into it right now and they want to show off their hobby. And with all the good books that are coming out this last year, I think that there's just more shoppers on Etsy that are looking for ways to kind of show off their hobby. So some things that I was digging into, I was trying to find, okay, if that's such a popular category, what are people selling? And I was mind blown at how much some of these sellers um, could potentially make on these products, you guys. It was pretty crazy. But bookmarks. Bookmarks are actually on the uprise, you guys. People, a lot of sellers are making different types of bookmarks. And something that I noticed that was really popular was birth flower bookmarks. So that is like with your birth flower. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's been super trendy. I'm um, kind of this last year I've noticed a lot, but there was custom birth flower bookmarks. There was custom name bookmarks. I even saw some sellers were taking like custom notes that people were sending them and they were tracing them and putting them on the bookmarks. I thought that was really cool. Um, if bookmarks aren't your thing, you could totally do something else within the um, reading category. You could do custom shirts, you could do mugs. There's all kinds of different things. Even wood signs I saw that people were doing with different quotes and different things like that on there. Check trademarks though, you guys, before you get into that. Um, but there's so much you could do, y'all. No matter what you sell, I'm sure you can kind of integrate the book lover category within your products. Another trend that I am seeing that is super on the uproar this year is cozy vibes. So what that means, and I don't know if you guys have teens, preteens like me, but I'm sure you've noticed that sweatpants and oversized t-shirts and oversized hoodies are kind of in right now. So that's kind of following along with this cozy vibes that people are kind of putting out right now. But you'll see cozy blankets, you'll see sweatshirts, you'll see all kinds of just comfortable things. You'll see knitted things and plushies and fluffy pillows and a lot of pillows. People are customizing pillows and offering those. Um, candles, shower steamers, if you make those kinds of things. But anything that you can make that relate to a cozy feeling a cozy vibe is super popular right now so I'm sure I don't know if you guys have noticed that but I'm seeing a big uproar and if you go and search some of the top trends you're gonna see a lot of comfortable things people just want to be cozy and I'm all for this trend you guys I'm all for it so for a seller like me that doesn't make blankets that doesn't make shower steamers or candles what I could do is I could make a wood sign that maybe has a cozy saying or a saying like homebody or um, just something that makes me feel cozy, right? Or something that I would hang up in my home for somebody that likes to get cozy. So I am not mad about this trend, you guys. I'm all for the cozy vibes trend. I think that it is awesome, but that is something that you're going to be seeing a lot of this year. So find a way to kind of incorporate a cozy feel into your shop products. So kind of piggybacking off of the cozy vibes, we're gonna talk about sweatshirts. So the oversized sweatshirt, the cozy sweatshirts, I am seeing that all over Etsy right now. If you type in women's shirt or if you type in um, gift for her, you're gonna see a lot of sweatshirts. And so maybe you're wondering, okay, well, what kind of sweatshirts? Well, you can follow some of those evergreen trends that we were talking about, like the mama anything. Um, I know I like to wear shirts that say mama on it because I'm a mama and I'm proud, um, but a very popular font that I'm seeing these mama sweatshirts is the varsity college style font that has the outline and it says mama on it. Another trend that you could do and capitalize on with these sweatshirts is the puff vinyl. So puff vinyl is hot right now, you guys. Anything raised, um, specifically this puff vinyl, if it can match the shirt a little bit, that is extremely trendy this year. So for example, if you have a black sweatshirt, a black font or a black color puff vinyl that could go over that, or if it's a purple sweater, purple vinyl, um, kind of like that 
tones that are really close look really good together and it's really trendy right now. So that is another thing that you could do. So if you sell t-shirts or sweatshirts or can utilize these within your products, I definitely would right now. There's room for everyone within this trend. I don't think you can go wrong because there's so many people searching for it right now. So that is a trend to look out for in 2024. So another trend to look out for this year is pet ear outline items. I know that sounds super weird, but if you guys have seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's basically where all it is is the outline of the pet ears. So you have the dog ears specifically. That's kind of the one that's a little bit more trendy, but also cat ears, which cat ears are all kind of, they kind of look all the same pretty much. Um, so dog ears are a little bit more popular, but what they are is basically an outline of your pet's ears. And a lot of different types of sellers are utilizing this, whether it be laser items or vinyl. Um, some people are painting them on. So it just depends on what you make and sell. So that is really popular this year. If you do t-shirts, you could put them on t-shirts. If you do them on wood signs, you could make custom wood signs with a pet name underneath it, um, ornaments. I mean, you could just put it on so many different items. Maybe you do sublimation. You could sublimate the pet ears on different things. So you could definitely capitalize on this trend, but I'm seeing it right now. It's all over the place. It's an evergreen item, which is a pet item, but it's a trend. So utilizing those two trends in one, definitely a good idea to look into. So another trend that I'm seeing that is going really big this year is a voice recording keepsakes. So you might wonder what this is. And I saw it for the first time, I think last year, and I thought it was so unique and so cool, but it's actually easier to do it than I thought it was. But basically you take the sound recording, you upload it to different websites. There's different sites that do it. They convert it into sound waves, like where you can see it. And then you take that and you can make it also into a QR code that goes next to it. People can scan it and then they can hear the voice recording. It's so cool. So many different types of sellers can use it. it I think it converts into like an SVG, PNG, different vials like that. So you could cut it out with your vinyl machine and put it on things. You could make it into a wood sign. You could cut it with your laser machine. There's a lot of different ways to do it. And some people even put it on t-shirts and different things like that. So I thought that was really unique, but I did see it. There's a lot of people searching for this. They're searching for different types of keepsakes for people maybe that they might have lost a loved one or maybe they're looking for an anniversary gift or a gift for somebody that they care about. So that is a great gift idea for Etsy and I think it would be almost a perfect gift idea that a lot of sellers can capitalize on. So there's an idea for a hot trend right now. A trend that I'm sure a lot of you have already seen that is probably annoying to some of you because so many of you are like, it's so overhyped is the 40 ounce tumbler trend. So I know it sounds crazy, but because a lot of you were tired of it. I know so many people are like, I don't understand why everyone's so obsessed with the 40 ounce tumblers, but they're popular right now. So if you can find a way to make and sell either products that are related to 40 ounce tumblers or you can make a 40 ounce tumbler yourself for example like this is an off brand <laughs> or like i say off brand it's a um save a cup 40 ounce tumbler it's not a stanley i will never own a stanley because i'm not paying that much for a tumbler but these are ones that you can customize yourself um and you can get way cheaper than a stanley um but they're searched for a lot people are searching for 40 ounce tumblers so if you can engrave some or if you can stick some vinyl on some and sell it I think you'll do very well. And along with that, accessories that go to the 40 ounce tumblers, they have the straw holders that people are personalizing. That's something that's being searched for a ton on Etsy right now. So if you wanna hop on trends, that's a really good trend to get into. But kind of piggybacking off of that, another really popular trend right now is the clear coffee cups and clear beer can tumblers. You know, the clear glass tumblers with the bamboo lids and the clear straws super popular right now if you make anything with vinyl or etching i would definitely sell those if you can i think so many people love it right now that i think it would do really well if you sold them another trend that i think a lot of different types of sellers could do something with is stacked family names so i know it sounds kind of basic but i'm seeing it kind of on the rise from the research i was doing i was seeing so many listings that were doing extremely well in this format so what a stacked family name is, is basically literally just the family names that are stacked in order. And so I saw it a 
lot over Christmas on ornaments. I don't know if you guys saw the family name tree ornaments that was in the shape of a Christmas tree. Um, that's an example of one. I saw some pillows that like, were custom for people's couches that had the family names that were stacked in order. And these are mostly just plain style fonts. So things that are very basic like Times New Roman or Century Gothic. It was very basic fonts, but the family names are just stacked. And so you could do that with a lot of different pro products, whether it be cups or pillows or ornaments or um, um, wood signs. You could do this with a lot of different style products, but it's something that a lot of people are drawn to this year. So it's something to kind of keep your eyes on. Next trend is mostly for my digital folks out there, but it's a trend that I saw and I was like, this is gonna start going big this year, I think. And I could be wrong, but I do see an uproar on it. Like it's like a trend right now that's going on just on social media in general that I think that if people People hop on this trend that I think they'll do well so um, basically I don't know if you guys do this but sometimes when I'm cleaning my house or I just want like something cool on the TV I'll turn on frame art for the TV so a lot of people have those frame TVs where they have the different artwork on their TVs and sometimes around Christmas you can get the pretty snow falling or the fireplace well digital sellers right now are selling their own files of digital art for TVs and they're making really cool artwork and digital files that I mean like like really cute stuff. I saw really cute stuff for Valentine's Day. It was like almost like the painted hearts and things like that. And I was like, that is a good market to get in right now because so many people are into those frame TVs and they want the artwork on their TV that I think selling those files would do really well. So my digital folks out there, definitely look into that. I think that is a trend that is gonna be pretty big this year. So this next trend has been pretty evergreen for a while. It's something that has been around for a while and trendy for a while, but I'll tell you kind of the trends I'm seeing within this category and it is makeup bags. So in regards to the makeup bags, I'm seeing specifically a lot of the puffy style makeup bags with the gold foil names as well as those makeup bags that I'm sure you see all the little girls using right now with the patches they're kind of like the chenille patches I think is how you say it it'll say basic sayings like stuff and junk and like just basic sayings like that but those are really big right now and I think a lot of like anybody could really make those because I think they're applied with either heat or an adhesive um, those are very popular and like I said the chunky style makeup bags with the gold names on them I'm seeing those all over so that is a trend I'm seeing a lot of this year you guys if you just even just search on Etsy you're gonna see makeup bags and I think that um, a lot of different types of sellers could make those and do well and specifically if you're kind of like marketing it as a bridesmaid gift bridesmaids anything do well it's an evergreen item and you sell more than one most likely so you can make a good profit on something like that so this next trend that I'm seeing actually being searched for quite a bit is pressed flower art so this can be done in a lot of different ways I'm not sure how these sellers do it but it's really beautiful where you can see the flowers pressed behind I guess glass some clear material some people make it with resin I guess I'm not really sure how it's done so please don't bash me if I'm saying it wrong but it is a trend that I'm seeing very popular and I can see why I bought this year this pressed mustard seed and jewelry and I just thought it was so cool and so I'm seeing that kind of really popular with flowers and different things like that that is something very popular and the floral is kind of going along with the trend right now everything floral people are so into it right now so that is something to kind of keep your eye on if you do anything related to that or you can figure out a way to sell products like that I think those will do well in 2024 all right, y'all, this next trend is line art drawings, kind of related to the dog ears that we were talking about originally that were the line art. These um, are mainly, I, I think people are getting these designs, tracing them on something like Procreate and making it into line art. Some of these sellers are then taking that line art and making it into a wood sign or maybe they're putting it on a t-shirt or however they want to convert that line art into. There's a lot of different ways to do this. So if you're a digital seller, you could sell the digital version of that um, so people could take it and do as they please with it. And then there are people out there that are, like I said, converting it into an SVG and then making it into to like a sign um, that way you're able to kind of make something very unique and people are coming to Etsy for like something very custom and unique to them so the fact that you as a seller can do all those things that's pretty cool and I think that that would be something that would do very well and I've seen the line art kind of getting popular over the last couple years but I think that it's gonna be something pretty big in 2024 and I can see why it's really pretty unique very minimal um, so that's something I would keep my eye on this year y'all 
So the last trend that we're gonna talk about today is anything map and coordinates. So as a seller, that's something that has done well for me for years now. And I see now with the technology out, you can make so many cool map products. You know, there are things that can turn streets into SVG files. There are ways to snapshot different roads and different map things and just make it look really cool. And a lot of sellers are utilizing them into their products. So many different ways you could do this, you guys. But it's just people are coming to Etsy for something custom. And a lot of times, I mean, you see there's so many people moving, so many people getting married and having meaningful things happening in their life. And a map anything is a cool way to kind of like remember that memory. So I think that that's something that a lot of different types of sellers could capitalize on and use within their products. So that's something, like I said, I think it's an evergreen style product because it's done well for so many years. Back when I was doing them in the beginning, it would just be coordinates, but now you're able to kind of like take streets and do different things with it. And it's just really cool. So anything map and anything coordinate. Um, and if you look at search, it also does really well um, on Etsy search. So something to look into guys. All right, you guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. We could have gone over probably a couple more trends, but I wanted to kind of compile this into a list of some common ones that I'm seeing over and over and over again so that we could kind of talk about some things that you should look out for in 2024. And like I said, you guys, trends are not like the only thing that you have to focus on, but as a seller, it's a good idea to kind of follow these trends so that maybe you could utilize a couple things into your products and get some views on Etsy. And um, I hope that y'all found this helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.